I have just been informed that it is October, and October means pumpkins. So today we are doing Bullet with Butterfly Wings Acoustic in the vein of the Sadlands demo. That's a great version. You can check it out on Spotify, etc. for Justin Taylor. But before we begin, I would like to extend a hyperbolical amount of gratitude to Jimmy Martone and Damian Kelly for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Gentlemen, thank you for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, is in the description. The first step in an operation such as this is to detune your guitar one half step down, so instead of Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie, you will have E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. If you don't know how to do that, I've made a video on how to do that, and you will find that link in the description as well, or you don't have to do that at all, you can just play it in standard tuning. Take your pointer finger and put it on the A string 2nd fret. Your ring finger is going to go on the D string 4th fret, and your pinky finger is going to go on the G string 4th fret. You will recognize this as a B power chord, and that's what it is. But the cool thing about this riff is we're not going to move our ring or pinky fingers the whole entire time. Also, your right hand is going on autopilot, strumming down at all possible opportunities. Also, also, when you strum, you want to hear the B and E strings open ringing out sometimes for that Sadlands demo feel. You're going to give it two strums just like that. Then your pointer finger is coming off for one strum. I like to mute the E string with my thumb when I do that. Two more strums at starting position. And then your middle finger is going to reach for the E string second fret for two strums. And when you do that, give it a kind of sort of almost maybe bend on that E string. The next chord is the same as the first chord, but we're going to strum the open low E string as well for five strums. One, two, three, four, five. And the last chord is the same as the second chord, the one with the open A string for four strums. One, two, three, four. So we got. One, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and put it together. To the even though I know part, it's the same chords, but he switches the order. We're still gonna start with the one we've been starting with, the B power chord one. But the second one is the low open E string one. I've been muting the E string with my pointer finger when I play the B power chord one, so now I'm just gonna move it down a half millimeter so that we can hear that open string ringing out. The third one is the middle finger on the E string third fret one. And the fourth one is the open A string one. So we got B power chord, open low E string, E string third fret, open A string. Even though I know, I suppose I'll show. But the last progression of that section right before we go into the chorus only has three chords. It's the B one, the E string third fret one, and the open A one. So, like and into the chorus. All right, this is great. We're going to take our B power chord and strum it all, not the E string of course, followed by a regular G chord, gasp, a D chord, an A suspended 2 chord, which is A without your ring finger or with an open B string, to an E minor, G, B, G, D, A sus 2, E minor, G. Whole bunch of times, but then we go F sharp power chord, that's on the E string 2nd fret, to an A power chord or an A chord. But of course, after the second chorus, when he says cage ringing out, he switches into the instrumental section of the bridge, which is a G sharp power chord, that's E string fourth fret, to our B power chord, followed by an F sharp power chord, and A. Tell me I'm the only one is E minor, G, 
F sharp power chord A. And the last time you hang on the F sharp power chord going into the chill chorus, which is just the same as the rest of the chori, just a little pluckier. I thought I heard him reach for just that E string, third fret, and give it a wiggle. He picks the chorus back up, of course, and it's all the same, and it changes when he starts to repeat, despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a, that's a, that's a funny thing to say, at which point it's B, G, D, A, over and over and over again, until the very, very end, when he ends it with a E minor G, and then he hits an F sharp power chord slides down to Nowheresville, and that's it for Bullet with Butterfly Wings, acoustic style, Sadlands demo style. Thank you so much for being here for this one. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.